So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Hey, it was nothing. Thank you, Jude. You too, Alvin. Hey, where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not gonna get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Come on, let's get moving. Alright, turn the title. Awesome. Lithium Orb. Let's go ahead and uh, put our points into that. Let's see what we got. Uh, TP Restoration Guard. Let's get some health. Link that up. Assault. That's what I need. Alright, now where's the point that gives us SP? There you go. Alright, now for Amila. Get that health. And that INT. Alright, now let's go for the one that gives us SP. Now for Alvin, he's a little different. Let's see, there's Dex. There's agility, what does this do? Increases max TP by 5%. What's this do? Arc fire, a not so warming shot. The enemy's feet, when I can't see that one charge, becomes an arc blast art. Which adds sword. Uh, that's actually pretty good, so I don't know if we get that. Let's see what this does. Physical. Alright, arc fire. Let's get that INT up then, I guess. Safely net prevent enemy encounter links. I actually would want an enemy encounter link. That would uh, increase our experience too, even though it'll be harder. Uh, let's take away a two. Damn it, everything seems to be like three. Damn it, uh, let me see, uh, gain AC more entirely up to three when avoiding enemy backstep. I kind of need that. I guess I could take away wind guard or earth guard. Uh, I'll take away wind guard. Let's put assault. <coughs> Let's see about Mila. She needs assault too, so I'll probably take away, uh, Let's see, magic guard, solid guard, HP gain. Hmm. Uh, I guess solid guard. Go to salt. So everyone has more in here. Uh, that's so quite the spectacle. Oh, what do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. There you go. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? You're no fun at all. You didn't seem particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of things, huh? All true, but I've never seen anyone pick a fight with a monster that big before. Well, I'm glad that we were able to show you a new experience. Hmm, lucky me. Alright, let's see anything here to harvest. No, I don't see anything shiny. No, I don't see anything. Alright, I guess it's onwards. Onwards, I can climb this right here. Climb that. Climb that. Let's see where this leads to. I guess next area. Alright. Uh, okay, there's a bag, loot bag here. I didn't really look at the edges over there. Oh, there's a harvest point. See, I could have missed this. Thank God I got it. Material's always good. There's this frog thing that's gonna give me crap experience. It's gonna give me crap experience. Come on. That's linked on art. And there you go. There we go. There you go. That made us next level. You're a big 
33 and no wonder you what you would I kind of need a little um, iron stance thanks. Human successful attacks will not easily stagger boss type enemies the resilience is known as the foe's iron stance you may be able to break through a foe's iron stance more easily with certain types of attacks all right so we're gonna have to uh wait a minute there's this uh harvest point can't miss that okay we're gonna have to climb up here Climb up here, and a bunch of enemies there. Harvest point over there. Let's get to that harvest point after fighting this easy enemy, pretty much. Pretty much, because we're hardly taking any damage from it, because our armor's pretty good. Spent all my money on it, so it better be good. Let's see, sub status that affects martial arts. The power of some martial arts are affected by stats other than physical attack and art attack. These are known as substats. The substats of an art are displayed as icons in the arts menu description. You may want to be aware of these substats as you use the lithium orb to strengthen your characters. Strength, vitality, intelligence, physic, agility, and dexterity. Alright, get this, Come more copper. I'm gonna have plenty of uh, warning. What is this warning? What is this warning? Usually it doesn't tell me warning. Uh, there's no warning to me. Everything seems the same. I don't know why it told me warning. You know, so easy fight. And they're pretty much dead right here. I looked about this, well a little bit more experience and some um, gold. The strong icon. Foes denoted by a special icon are rare monsters who are stronger than normal. If you win the battle against one, you'll earn double the usual amount of XP and gold. If you're confident in your combat ability, give it a shot. I am confident. That was pretty easy. Still gave us kind of crap experience though because 36 is still uh lower than what I can get on the fields. The fields gave me like 60 something and then when I used the bonus experience I would get like 80 something so to me it was like okay sure why not. I felt confident if the experience was that weak you know. And okay there we go. 18.45. Pretty much fighting them for like small experience and uh, the material because the material is good. It's down there. Oh, chest, I knew it. Cause I saw this little area right there. So I was like, this should be something. Good old chest. Ah, oh, life bottle. I have to put back. Is there something there? No. I thought I saw something. Shadow. Oh, that I want. Guardian emblem. Increases physical defense by 5%. Uh, I don't think they have high enough stats for it to be actually good. Nope. They, they need higher stats for this stuff to actually be good. Because the higher the stats, the more uh, increase it gets. So right now it's uh, not good. Alright, uh, another cutscene? Sure. So, any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although, I have to admit, she was really pretty. I never pegged you for the bad girl type, kid. Or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe. Alright, event updated and let's see, here's the save, but let's go this way. There's a loot bag and there's other stuff. Let's get this loot bag first before fighting that. 300 gold. I didn't want to miss on that. I did not want to miss out on that. Alright. Fight these guys. These easy guys to kill pretty much. Okay, let's run over there. Holy crap. Ow, ow, ow. I got hit by splash. Got hit by that splash. Not fun. Oh, there's that chest. I didn't want to miss out on that chest either. Didn't want to miss out on that chest either. Out of our way. 
All right, let's go in there. All right, guys, gonna wow, wow, way to fall, and he pretty much took us all down with us. You have big hands. Interesting. All right, let's see what's inside this chest. Apple gel. Might as well use them to heal everyone up. Apple gel. Neil is the only one who needs it, so I might as well take one and discard the rest. Take one, discard the rest. See, you can't get on that side, so. Looks like that's it for uh, this little area. I guess we'll keep going. See where it takes us. Save. We just killed that boss. Come on, 0%. Let's keep going. Hmm. Alright. Okay, that should be the Village of Spirits. Cutscene, like always. Yup. Cutscene. We've arrived. So this is Nia Kara. Huh. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me. Where's Ivor? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? <laughs> yes, I have returned. I, I can't believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. Please relax. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. He always did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. But it would seem my handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. Why not just ask the villagers for help? You saw what just happened. Except for my handmaid. I don't really fraternize with the villagers. They can barely look at me, let alone hold a conversation. Ah, oh, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes. Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. Alright, so I gotta find stones. I'm guessing four stones for all four, uh... For all four of the, uh, spirits. No one needs a side quest. That will be great. So let's see, where the hell are these stones at? A couple of chickens. Maybe I'll bring chickens over there and be like, I've got the stone. That mountain beyond the village sure is something. That's the Neokara Holomont. It's a special land where four spirit climbs meet. Alright, there's a lady here. Oh, that's a guy, never mind. 